Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through number system. In the previous session, we have seen the basic operations on real numbers. Today, let's learn the meaning of nth root of a and a third. We know that 2 square equals 4. Therefore, root 4 is equal to 2. 3 cube equals 27. Therefore, the cube root of 27 is equal to 3. 2 raised to 5 is equal to 32. Therefore, fifth root of 32 is equal to 2. Also, we can represent it as 4 raised to 1 by 2 equals 2. 27 raised to 1 by 3 equals 3. And 32 raised to 1 by 5 equals 2. Generally, we can write nth root of a equals a raised to 1 by n. Also, we can say nth root of a for any real number is defined as nth root of a equals b. If b raised to n equals a, where a is greater than 0. In this expression, nth root of a is known as a radical expression. And the sign nth root is called the radical sign. Here the number under the radical sign, that is, a is called the radicand. And n is the order of the radicand. Let's see some more examples. Root 10 equals 10 raised to 1 by 2. Cube root of 3 equals 3 raised to 1 by 3. Cube root of 8 equals 8 raised to 1 by 3. If nth root of a is an irrational number and a is a positive rational number, then nth root of a is called a third. For example, root 3, cube root of 2, fifth root of 8, etc., are thirds. But what about the fifth root of 32? Is it a third? Since 2 raised to 5 is equal to 32, the fifth root of 32 is equal to 2, which is a rational number. Therefore, the fifth root of 32 is not a third. What about pi? Is it a third? Pi is an irrational number, but it is not in the form of nth root of a. Therefore, pi is not a third. Consider cube root of 3 plus root 2. Here, the cube root of 3 plus root 2 is an irrational number, but 3 plus root 2 is also an irrational number. Therefore, cube root of 3 plus root 2 is not a third. Hence, a third means it is an irrational root of a positive rational number. That is, nth root of a is a third if and only if a is a positive rational number and nth root of a is an irrational number. Let's recall what we discussed today. Today, we discussed the radical form nth root of a. If nth root of a is an irrational number and a is a positive rational number, then nth root of a is called a third. Before winding up let's check how much you understood by doing an activity.
Check whether the following are surds or not. First, root 100. Second, cube root of 13. Third, fourth root of 25. And last, root of 4 plus root 3. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.